Today we will demonstrate how to get started with the app IV Product AHU Controls. We will show you how to download, how to connect an air handling unit, and how to use the app. IV Product AHU Controls lets you commission and control your air handling units wirelessly in the building using your phone or tablet. For example, the app can be used to adjust the airflows in the duct. The app is free on App Store and Google Play and works with Siemens Climatics units delivered from 2009 onwards, running on compatible software versions. Let's start with step 1, downloading the app to your phone or tablet. Open App Store or Google Play and search for Ivy Product. Install the Ivy Product AHU Controls app. OK, step 1 is ready. In order to connect the app to an air handling unit, the Climatics unit and your mobile device must be connected to the same network. We will explore two different connection options. Use option 1 if you have access to a wired and a wireless network in the building. Use option 2 if you don't have access to a network but must create one using a Wi-Fi router, which can be bought separately. Back to option 1. If the plant room has a network outlet in the wall and the building has a Wi-Fi network, plug in a network cable and connect it to the network outlet on the unit's climatics. Here. The building's Wi-Fi and the climatics unit are connected to the same network and thus the air handling unit can be accessed wirelessly from your phone or tablet. In option 2 there's no Wi-Fi network and no network outlet. So you must create your own wireless network surrounding the unit. This can be achieved using a Wi-Fi router accessory which is bought separately and connects to the climatics unit. The Wi-Fi router creates a wireless network around the unit, which you can then access using your mobile device. It's time to sign your mobile device into the same Wi-Fi network as the Climatics unit. Go to Wi-Fi settings. Now, back to the two connection options. In option 1, where there is a network in the building, speak with the IT manager for login details. In option 2, where a Wi-Fi router has been purchased, login details can be found on a label on the air handling unit. Once you've signed in, open the application and accept the privacy policy and hardening guidelines. You may need to set the app language. Go to settings in the bottom right change to your language and then restart the app. Now let's connect the app to the air handling unit. Tap connect unit, then connect. Then add a new customer, for example the company where the unit is installed. In the description box, you can add further information about the customer, such as a contact person. Under Site, we recommend that you fill in the name of the city and a building description. Then it's time to add the Climatics unit. Under Name, fill in the AHU name. This will be the same as the reference on the nameplate. The description box can be used for the area the AHU is serving, for example kitchen or office level 1. The final step for connecting the app to the unit is to enter the unit's IP address. Once again, let's go back to connection options 1 and 2. In option 1, where there is a network in the building, you can find the IP address by logging into the operating panel or from the IT manager. Follow these instructions. Log in. and select System Overview. Then Communication.
If you've connected according to option 2 and are using our Wi-Fi router, then you will find the IP address on the label, or again by logging into the operating panel. The app is now connecting to the air handling unit and you will be taken to the overview. If this is not the case, please rewind this video and double check that you have followed each step of the instructions correctly. Still no connection? Contact our control system support department. Now you have finished step 1 and 2, downloading the app and connecting it to the air handling unit. So it's time for step 3, how to use the app. Here on the overview you can view the current air flows and temperatures. And with the service switch you can switch the unit off and on. The status LED displays the current operating mode. You can learn about what the different colors indicate on the Climatics Quick Guide sitting on the air handling unit. Previously you set the app language, but you may also want to make sure that the Climatics language is correct. Go to Manage Units. And under Climatics language, you can select the number corresponding to your language, using the instructions on this webpage. Let's move on to Graphic View. The flowchart here displays the unit's data points in real time. If the unit is supplemented with new sensors, they will automatically appear in the flowchart. Then go to Operations. These menus include more detailed data points and settings. For example, you can view all the temperature sensors in one place. New sensors automatically appear here too. The eye symbols indicate that you can view but not change the setting. Go to Set Point Temperatures. The pens indicate that you can change the setting. As an example, here you can change the set points. We will cancel and keep the current temperature today, but you can confirm by selecting OK. The app also lets you access the operating panel situated on the air handling unit. You can log in using the same password that you use for the operating panel, and you will also be able to access the exact same menus and settings. To view current and previous alarms, select Alarms. Right now, there are no current alarms but under Alarm History, you can stay up to date with exactly what has happened and when it occurred. If you wish to connect yet another air handling unit, select Connect Unit. You can choose to connect a new unit to an existing customer, or you can add a new customer. In this example, we will select the customer we added before. The same goes for site. You can add a new site or select one you've added previously. We will continue on the same site. Ivy Product AHU Controls lets you connect multiple units to save you time the next time you visit the building. Under the Climatics menu, you can access your previously added air handling units and add new ones. Let's continue adding the new unit. Enter the details according to the same instructions we used for the first unit. That's it! You have now connected your second unit. If you need more help getting started with the app, tap the question mark in the bottom right to contact our control system support department, or for a written guide on getting started. That concludes our demonstration of IV product AHU controls. But don't hesitate to get in touch with us for more information. Thank you for watching.